He is right. an adult. You all ready to get this thing rolling? We're ready. Episode 22. Episode 22. Wow. wow. Guys, welcome back to episode 22 of the Everybody But Me show. I got someone calling me. That's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> welcome back. Episode 22. To, <laughs> episode 22 of the Everybody But Me show. We're here with Aaron. Dom, Katie, Phil, and we got a guest today. We got a guest who um, most know as Hannah's boyfriend. Um, some know as the eighth guy removed from The Bachelor on my season. Um, <laughs> this is a guy who I became great friends with uh, on the show. And then post-show, we got even closer as friends. And um, we've we've uh, experienced some fun things together. And uh, it's, it's an honor to have Dylan on this show. And uh, Dylan Barber, thanks for coming on here, man. I'm excited to have you on and kind of talk about some old stories. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Thanks for refusing to acknowledge that we're engaged. <laughs> oh, my, my bad. You do it on purpose. You have to do it on purpose. You're not like, you're not oblivious. Do you, Literally. Do you, <laughs> when the whole world found out you were engaged, I was with you. Remember that? That was a fun, uh, that was a fun night. That was. We, and then we sent it. Then we went to, people forget, we went to dinner with Matt and Lori. And Lori. And then, and chicks and then in the Matt office. Became the bachelor. And then Matt became the bachelor. A lot, lot, lot came from that table that night. It was a business meeting. That's what it was. Yeah. Making sure business moves happened. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so so we start every show, Dylan, with a hard hitting question question and a song. So one, I'm gonna need a song request from you. Mm -hmm. And two, I'm gonna need a hard hitting question from you, Kate. Okay. You got one for us? Uh, yeah, I literally just remembered that was my job. Um, so <laughs> I want, it's, it's been a long day, but here we are. Um, I want to know what both of you have done, like the most outlandish thing you've done to like get on a date with a girl. Does that make sense? Like the most... <clears throat> And don't worry, you yes. get you get time to think about it because we're going to go to a song. Mm -hmm. But I want to know what's the most outlandish thing you've done to secure that date. You, you, like you, you got a song for me? Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a funny one. Okay. Uh, could it be any song? Any yeah. song. Oh, okay. The song's not funny, but the answer will be funny. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, the, uh, let's, do, let's do Say Goodbye by Chris Brown. Oh, Ooh, wow. Very Say nice goodbye, in your feelings. You know, gotta go. Perfect theme. Wow. Starting off like that. It's a great song. It is a good song. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to the Everybody But Me show. <laughs> we are here once again with Phil, Katie, and Dom, and our special guest, Dylan Barber, who reports have just come in. He, guys, is truly engaged to Hannah. It is real. You um, heard it here first. Yeah, he, he, just, he just reprimanded me on that. He says, we're engaged. That's my fiance. So my fault. I just learned of this news. Congratulations, Dylan. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Can we cheers for that? That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. Is a cheers, cheers to you That's guys. a cheers moment there, <laughs> always. No, no, I was there the day that, uh, that Dylan and Hannah got engaged on TV. Like, I was there when it got revealed on TV, and I got to spend that moment with them, which I thought was cool. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, man, look at y'all. Very nice. cool. So now, there's, so, there's so much that went into that that uh, we'll, we'll unpack later. But um, Dylan, you got to hit the hard-hitting question first from Katie. Katie, what's a hard-hitting question? Uh, what is the most outlandish thing you've done to secure a date? Um, so mine was in eighth grade. <laughs> I had a huge crush on a girl who was a freshman at the time. And I was like, hey, so I went through a K through 12 school. Uh, <coughs> no big deal. And then, <laughs> and, and then we like, it's broken up by kindergarten to sixth grade and then seventh and eighth grade is middle school and then ninth to 12 is high school. So then when I was in eighth grade, I was like, Hey, it's the last day of school. I'm sorry. Like we'll, we'll never be together. I'm, I'm going to a different high school. And I was like, so this is the last time we're going to see each other. If so, if you want to like give me a kiss, we, we should do it now. <laughs> and then we, and then we, and then we did. And then I was like, God, oh, I'm just kidding. Like I, I just showed up back in school the next year. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sorry about that. Wait, so, that is so know, funny. The, class, the classic I'm, I'm leaving move. Uh, works, works it's a great, great, move. It, it's a great it move. Yeah, it should be in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so, so, my, my, so mine is, uh, I was on a few dates with this girl already, right? And she was leaving for this long like three-week trip to Africa 
And she was going with a bunch of people, other dudes, other girls and everything. So I was like, man, it'd be so easy to fall in love with somebody in Africa, you know? And I really <laughs> wanted to continue this this whole dating thing with her. So uh, she was leaving the next day, right? Like at like 6 p.m. We had our last date the night before. And that night I'm like in my in my bathtub thinking like, man, this is probably it. She's gone. <laughs> like she's going to Africa, going to fall in love with somebody on safari. That tub time. And yeah. then that tub's like, wait, I have an idea. And so I called up Katie. I was like, Katie, I got to find a disposable before everything closes. And we found a disposable just in time. Uh, she secured it, secures the bag. And I write her a handwritten note how I just love spending time with her. And uh, I hope she has the best time in Africa. And I hope she can use these cameras because it's my favorite way to travel and catch the, bo- and catch the best moments. Use these cameras to capture the best moments that you can share with me when you come back. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, so the next morning, I was like, hey, like, before you leave, I would love to drop something off to you. Like, can you? And by dry, drop something off, it was like an hour and a half drive. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, can wow. I come see you to come get deliver this to you? And she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we met for lunch and I dropped it off. And, and it went really, really well because she went to Africa and she texted me like, you know, three quarters of the way of the trip. Like, hey, thinking about you. Can't wait to get back. You know, can't wait to see you. We went on more dates, but I never saw those photos. So what are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. That's a good move. Yeah, like man. That. No, that's Take a wrong disposable. Yeah. So disposable cameras and pretend that you are leaving and you can secure a date. And a handwritten letter. <laughs> and a handwritten letter. And a handwritten letter. a handwritten you, letter. You should have just said that you were moving away. And that she needed to take these photos to show you. Like you were moving to Europe or something. Yeah. And then when she got back, you're just still in jail. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but so so me and Dylan, of course, we met on The Bachelorette. And uh and when I met Dylan, he uh came in, he was wearing like a tuxedo, looking super sharp. And he's like, Oh yeah, man, I just like you know, I have my own software app company, like big deal. I'm like, Jesus Christ. That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I came in, I was the first time at limo. I didn't speak to anyone the whole night until, cause I was like, if I don't talk to Hannah and get sent home night one, my boys are just going to rip me for this. Yep. <laughs> and then, and then Tyler <clears throat> doesn't talk to her and we're like walking in and he's like, dude, I think I'm going to get sent home. I was like, Dude, look in look in the fucking mirror. Like, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> and then like I just remember being so nervous. And then after that, he was like, "Oh wait, okay, yeah." And yeah. then we just got to hang out the whole time. It was so fun. Yeah, and D- Dylan was definitely the one who kind of like had my back throughout the whole show. And because uh, I think Dylan was there more to hang out than he was a day Hannah. To be honest, like, I think he had his more fun with the guys. <laughs> That's not true. I would never say something like that. I had it. A- we, we had we had our fun. Like we all hung out. It was a good time. I mean, people don't realize you spend ninety five percent of your time with the guys. with the boys. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. So it's just like such a fun experience to like. Yeah, I, I would say like a vast majority of the guys are like pretty cool, and you would hang out with. There's obviously like a few outliers. I think that's just the point of the show for mm-hmm. like TV. But like, yeah, like me, you, Jed, Mike. uh, Connor, like we had such a fun crew, like playing spades and stuff like that. So definitely a good time. Yeah. Uh, w- one of my m- like most vivid moments I do remember, because like, you know, I kind of turned up on everybody uh, early on when, when Cam was like kind of stepping over on everyone's time. And I turned up on everybody. I was like, yo, like respect my time. I respect yours and all this stuff. And so Dylan <laughs> is during a mixer. Like we're about to have rose ceremony eliminations. Producers are trying to get me to go speak to her. And <clears throat> Dylan, of course, is talking to her. And this is like, you know, I, I had this conversation about respecting time probably like a week before this. <laughs> and, and so so Dylan's in there. And so I walk in, you know, and Dylan's like, bro, I just sat down. Like, can you give me like 10 more minutes? I was like, yeah, for sure, man. Got you. So I go back and producers like two minutes later, like, go, go. And I walk over there and Dylan's like, Dude, for real. <laughs> and I'm like, my bad, my bad, man, my bad. And then and then I, I, I did it a third I time. I just sent you back. Yeah, he kept sending me back. I kept walking <laughs> back and forth, walking back and forth. And then finally, 
I got there the last time, and Dylan's like, "All right, dude, whatever." You know what I mean? I was like, "Dylan, I'm sorry." Like, you know, I had to like go like find Dylan and hug him afterwards. I was like, "Dude, they were pushing me. They were pushing me." They were pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty funny. There were like a few times. It's like so awkward in that situation, especially when it's like one of your boys. You're like, uh, hey, can I have like five more minutes? Yeah. Because you like know what's going on on the other side of the wall. Uh, and then there was there was a time when Luke P came up and interrupted. Oh. And I was like, uh, yeah, no, I'm please get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so I felt bad. It's like I, I didn't want to upset your boy like that. But, uh <laughs> And then one of the other funny things, do you remember when Garrett, I think Garrett went on like a one-on-one or something and we just took his mattress out of the room. Oh, and yes. Hit it down the hallway. Yep. And he jumped into his bed and just fell. <laughs> oh my God. And it was like, it was like 3 a.m. And he's like, dude, where's my mattress? And we're like, oh, hey. Did you get back? Is that the golfer? That was in lobby. Yeah, that was the golfer. Whose idea was that? Probably Dylan. Dylan was the menace. Dylan was the menace. I would of say that would show. be a you idea. That's but. hilarious. I know. So yeah. I. you guys understand. Like I was scared to do anything on the show. Dylan was the menace. Like he was in with all the producers. Like they they all were always hanging out and talking. Like I never was. Like Dylan was the guy in the middle of all the shit always. Like <laughs> no, no, that's not true. I would definitely. I would definitely. It's like fun to stir the pot. My thing was like, all right. I mean, if I got sent home tomorrow, like, could I look back on this and say I had a blast? And so, like, every single day, I would just try to like think of something stupid to do. Uh, <laughs> Paradise was. I wish you were on Paradise, Tyler. As is probably ninety nine percent of the population. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that I went like full menace in paradise. Like, I believe it. Uh, uh, yeah. It was, well, I feel like you got the you know you're comfortable after the bachelor, so it was all hell broke loose when you were in paradise. Yeah, it, it was it was pretty bad. Like it wasn't bad, but if there was some where I would like mess with uh, Matt Donald, and I was like, dude, you are so going home tonight. Like, <laughs> you, <laughs> but he was fine. But it was like stuff like that. I was like, all right, I'm sorry, Matt. I maybe took that a little too far. Spe- <laughs> speaking of going home. Right. Here's a good story. So we are. What wh- what country did you get sent home in? Sc- We're in Latvia. I have two. I have two stories. About, I have two stories about Dylan getting or people getting sent home. One, and it has to do with Dylan both times. So one, <laughs> the kid's name was Devin. Right. He's on our show, and we all know Devin's like out. We know he's getting eliminated. Right. And he comes in the room looking for a belt to borrow. And so we're all like, nah, man, not my belt, not my belt, not my belt. And and finally, he goes to Dylan. And Dylan's like closest to his size. Dylan's like, yeah, man, like you, you got my belt. And so, and like Dylan knew like, shit, I'm probably never gonna see that belt again. So so Devin gets eliminated, right? You're saying your goodbyes, everyone's hugging, like having a moment. Dylan goes, hey man, can I get my belt back? <laughs> Like in like a very sad uh, moment. Oh, you know? uh, dude, it was a nice belt. I was like, oh, I need that back. For uh, I was like, I'll, 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 he was like, I'll just. He's like, okay, I give it to you later. I was like, no, no, I, I need it right now. Like, That's <laughs> that was a great. <laughs> that was a great one. Oh my god, I forgot and, about that. And, and then in Latvia is where I came to my wits end with Luke P. Like we had an argument that never made it to film. Thank God. Um, <laughs> Because I was I was losing my mind, right? Like I finally I just like I couldn't believe someone like him existed, you know? Mm-hmm. Just how rude and like just didn't you know no respect for anybody, and and so I was I, I completely like at that point was like seeing red when I saw Luke, and um, I was rooming with Dustin who was like Dustin and Dev or Dustin and Dylan were like my two closest friends at this point on the show, and uh, and that night two people got eliminated, who were they? Dustin and Dylan and I'm like <laughs> I'm now I'm pissed you know what I mean I'm like how the hell is Luke still here and Dustin and Dylan gone you know mm-hmm, yeah and so so I'm angry I'm super mad you know and like I've had enough of Luke's shit and um we're all huddled up right like we just did the rose <laughs> ceremony Dylan's gone uh Dustin's gone and uh I'm just like kind of like pissed over it like kind of like standing in the back of the group and uh all of a sudden, Luke goes with the champagne that we all get at the end. He goes, I just want to make a toast. Like, Hannah's sick, too, at this point. Like, really sick. And Hannah's, like, on her knees. Like, you know, everyone's, you know, like, he, he crouches down to her. He's like, I just want to make a toast to you and how strong you were, how strong you are to be able to get through that. And, and then I go behind him. I go, 
you already got a rose, bro. You don't need to kiss her ass anymore. And, oh. and, then, and, then, and then he turned and looked at me, right? Like 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 his like evil eye. And I was I just started, I was like, what are you gonna do, bro? You know? And then so earlier that day too, I was like, yo, I'm not your friend anymore. Like, I'm done with you. Like, don't come around me, whether we're on camera, whether we're off camera. Cause a lot of people will like get mad with Luke and then like hang out with him or like you know, they would like cuss each other out and then they go hang out with each other off camera. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't get that. That's not me. Yeah. And so like, if, if I, you kick me in my wits end, like yep. I'm done. You better stay away from me. And that's just how it is. And that that night, <laughs> this is a good story. That night we're there and I got a big bowl of rice and we're at this big ass circular table. And there's one seat, of course, right next to me. <laughs> and and I go, I go, Luke. And Luke comes to sit next to me. I go, Luke, I told you, bro, I can't stand being around you. Like, do not sit next to me. And he sits down and I'm just like, now I'm like infuriated. Cause like now, you know, Dustin and Dylan have been eliminated. He's sitting right there. I'm like, ah, you know? yeah. So, so I have this bowl of rice in front of me. So my idea is I'm going to punch this bowl and this bowl is going to shoot all the rice at him. Right. <laughs> and then I'm like, uh, no, it's probably not a good idea, you know? And so then, uh, and then I, I, I got up, I got up next to him. I was like, bro, don't ever come around me. And I like cheek checked them a little bit, you know? What? Ooh, yeah, it was really, tried dis- him. really disrespectful. Like, he, he should have beat my ass, honestly. <laughs> but <laughs> he probably could have Hulk smashed me. <laughs> so. That's when we that's when we had the, when we found the jewel and we got Peter addicted to smoking. Oh, Nick, yes. Smoking the jewel. <laughs> Peter, we, we found a jewel and Peter started ripping that thing. Uh, and we were like, and then as, cause you like, so you know who's, you usually know who's getting sent home. Like when there's like 15 people up or whatever, you're like, all right, like you guys are probably going home tonight. So we had the jewel for one last ride. And I, was like, throw this. <laughs> I was like, throw this into the river when we go, and we'll leave it here forever. And then apparently, instead of throwing it away, like one of the producers found it and put it in like Jed's Bible. So when Jed went to go like read the Bible, and it, <laughs> the was in there. He was like, "It's a sign." <laughs> so, and then they just started passing it around for the rest of the time. And then what did you guys do in Amsterdam? Wait, or the note? Where were you again? When? Wait, didn't you guys have like brownies or something? Oh yeah, I, I yeah. got I got extremely high off space cakes. Mm-hmm. Space cakes. Yeah, which were like weed brownies in Amsterdam. And so, uh, I smoked. With, I smoked. Right, I had an off day, so it's just me and my producer walking around. I smoked or whatever, and he picked it out, and I was like, "Yo, I am not. Sm- I'm, not I'm not letting you smoke this. Sh- like, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not letting you pick this shit out ever again. Mm-hmm. Like that shit was way too hard. We went back to a coffee shop, so I bought I bought like the highest sativa there was, champagne haze. Right, I remember it to you know, and I bought like a space cake because we're, we're flying back 14 hours back to Florida the next day. So I was like, we're gonna eat this shit and pass out. Like we'll be high as a kite on a plane. We'll be good. <laughs> You know, so we go to dinner. I'm like vibing. This this is a good high. Like, you know, I don't really smoke much, but I'm like, this is great. You know, and uh, we have steak. I'm like, this is the best steak I ever had. And uh, <laughs> we go we go to the hotel and I'm trying to sleep. And I don't know what it was, but that sativa had me so energized and so high. I couldn't sleep. It was like three in the morning and we had a flight at seven. So I was like, all right, let me eat half this space cake and help me fall asleep. So I ate this space cake and man. I knocked right out. <laughs> Woke up the next morning, full sweat, shakes, everything. And I start, I go right to the bathroom and start diarrhea, vomiting. Everything. Why does everything come down to you? Pooping? Pooping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it jacked his stomach up. <laughs> yes. So then I go, right? I leave. I go with my... Uh, my producer, I go to the airport and I'm like sick as a dog, right? I'm like holding on to him for dear life, like just trying to make it through. I'm like leaning on my luggage, leaning on him. I go to turn in my luggage to the lady at the, at the counter and I go, about to turn it to her. I go, Boop. I about I start to throw up, right? So I run to the middle of the trash can in the airport. I'm throwing up in a bucket, oh, just dying, right? And, and I mean, that me throwing up happens probably about five more times while I'm in the airport. My producer's like freaking out. He's like, dude, this is not good. Like, I'm not going to get tired of Florida. And I finally somehow <laughs> made the airplane, got on the plane, and, dude, literally, I don't know what it was, but my grandma back in the day was like, if you're ever feeling bad, just have a Sprite. So I drank a Sprite, and just like that, I was back to normal. Grandma knows but, best. Oh, yeah. Grandma knows. But it, it was, that, 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 was, that was my Amsterdam story. Just to, like, lightly sip on the Sprite. and cures everything. No, it's Sprite, ginger ale. I was going to say ginger yeah. ale. Ginger ale, yeah. yeah. My go-to. 
Um, but here, here's a here's a good story I'll, I will say about Dylan and Hannah, which I think is really really cool. So Dylan, um, you know, we 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 were talking all the time after our show, and he's like, I'm going to dinner with this lady Lori K, and uh, and she is there with Hannah, and I can't wait to meet Hannah. Like I want to meet Hannah, and so he he meets her. Like he, I was like, all right, bro, hit me up after this. I want to hear about it. So he goes to the dinner meets her and hits me that calls me that night he's like tyler like i'm going to paradise i'm going for hannah like this is it i'm coming back engaged i was like let's go burn the boats like let's do the damn thing you know? <laughs> and and like he's literally like in mexico like like his last calls and texts getting out he's like i'm here man like we're about to do this i'm about to do this i'm like man you better call me back only with one thing going on like you're engaged <laughs> and, um, and it like, was it was a get sent home week one or or get home in a relationship at the end with Hannah. There, that was really the only two options. <laughs> but but, so, but you did the damn thing. We did it. I know. The uh, the dinner was super funny. I drove all the way up from San Diego to meet with Lori. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm in L.A. if you want to meet. Because I was like talking to her about working together. And she was like, I'm here with one of my clients. And like, I obviously knew she repped Hannah. That's kind of like why I wanted to talk to her in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And then <clears throat> she's like, yeah, we're here staying at Comandria. And like, why don't we come up for dinner? I was like, yeah, totally. Like, I'll be in the area. Like, definitely two and a half hour drive for me. So it was not in the area. We brought a nice <laughs> bottle of champagne. I was like, Lori, let's hang out. Like, let's just like talk and talk business. And she was like, well, let me tell Hannah to come down. I was like, oh. What? I was like, what's her name again? Like, Hannah. Like, 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 I was like, oh, yeah, she did pretty well, right? She's like, yeah, she will. And she comes down, we hang out. And then we ended up going to dinner. Uh and, and with like Wells and there was somebody else there. I can't remember who else was there, but we just like talked. Wells just totally cock blocked me. He like sat in between us. I'm like, dude, you obviously, I'm like, you're married. Like what's good here? Like, get out of the way. Uh, and then afterwards <clears throat> I, I DM'd her and I was like, Hey, it was so nice meeting you. Like if you end up going, like it would be fun to just like experience that. Doesn't respond. And I was like, ah, uh, Totally smoked that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I texted Lori I was, and I was like, yeah, it's so good meeting Hannah. She's like, oh, did you like get each other's number? I was like, no, I, I just like casually messaged her. Like, no big deal. Threw that in there. So she would tell her that I messaged her. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, yeah, we went to paradise and we were the first like three people there. Then we got engaged. So that was pretty fun. That's awesome. <laughs> when you were in paradise, what, like, I didn't get to really watch much of your season. Was there? Well, I, I didn't watch any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to battle that with any of the guys? It was like right away y'all knew y'all were like in for each other. It it was like I mean, yeah. So the first day, everybody like flirts with everybody, kind of thing. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna talk to every girl first, and then I'll go hang out with Hannah. So I did that, and I was like, yep. I don't. I'm like, don't. I'm not really interested in anybody else. And I think I said that the first night, actually. I was like, yeah, I'm not really interested. Like, I was like, this is kind of what I want to do. And then, it, yeah, it was pretty, like, chill. I mean, I think the producers were super high on getting her to, like, talk to other people. And then to me, they were like, dude, don't, like, talk to other chicks. And I'm mm. like, yeah, of course not. <laughs> so, they're, like, playing, so they're, like, playing both sides here. Uh, but, it, it, like, what they don't what they didn't show a lot of was like, we hung out like 24 seven. And then like the 30 seconds we weren't hanging out was when like, she's like talking to some other person. So I, like, that's where like the confusion, I guess would come up, but like all in all, like, yeah, I think we, after the sixth day, it was like, yeah, we're going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think if this show didn't exist, right? Like if y'all, y'all, well, let me re rewind there. If you guys didn't meet each other on Paradise and be forced in that situation where you guys are with each other for a whole month thinking about this, you know, to get engaged, to be in a relationship, to find somebody, and you just meet casually, do you think you guys would be where you are right now? That's actually a good question. Hannah it seems to think yes. Uh, we've talked about this. Like, if we didn't meet on the show, like, what would that look like? <clears throat> we, we actually have a bunch of mutual friends, which we didn't know, which is super funny. Like she lived in LA and like became friends with some girls who are friends with like my best friend. And like, she actually almost went to my house for a 4th of July party like five years ago. 
and I wasn't there. And I was like, oh my God, like that would have been insane. Uh, yeah, I think we would still be where we are. Maybe like the timeline might've been a long, little longer, but mm-hmm. other than that, I think it would have been the same result. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, y- y'all, are, y'all, I mean, y'all are special, man. I've been trying to shoot my shot at hand ever since she got off the ba- paradise, and y'all are still, still strong. I know you, cro- <laughs> you, you, cro- you cropped me out of your Instagram post. Completely cropped. He was like giggling as he thought of that idea <laughs> yesterday. He was like, "What was, if it, we?" <laughs> I know, he's like a little girl. It was very. I, it I, was, was clever. Hilarious. It was yeah, very it was clever. Good. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, Tyler. You did good. It was very uh, Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. That's what they always yeah, do kept, to each I other. Kept, I kept seeing that, so then I had to look it up, and I found out I, I Ryan Reynolds you, apparently. Yeah. I love how, like, not into pop culture you are. You have, like, no idea what's going on in the world. No. You just, like, work out and build houses. Yeah. yeah. yeah actually, you just nailed it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> Dylan, what, what has been the toughest thing for you and Hannah to overcome since being in a relationship? I would say now, like not a whole lot. I would say initially we lived in, she lived in LA and I lived in San Diego, which is like close, but it's still two and a half hours. So like I was trying to get her to move down here and she wanted to live in LA and I was like, I'm telling you LA fucking sucks. Like you don't want to live there. Uh, So that was like a, I would say a hurdle. And then like when the show's airing, that's like the hardest time because like they never make it like easy to Good watch yeah. at yeah. any standpoint. So like that was probably the, the worst part. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Like we, we don't really fight. We don't really like, we're pretty easygoing people as is. And and her mom lives here. So like her family's out here and my family's out here. So it's like pretty nice. Like this, the stuff we do argue over is like so trivial that. Mm-hmm. So do you live in LA or San Diego? San Diego. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> was there ever a point where you guys were like unsure that like, y'all were going to make it or not? No. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, no. Sometimes she gets mad at me when I used to get a little spicy on Twitter, which I've reined in. So. <laughs> you, your Twitter antics were ridiculous, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, I was it, looking back on it, I was pretty reckless. You were a I'm menace. Like, I yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get sued. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, sh- I'm sure they wanted to. But... Yeah, that was looking back on it. I was like, okay, your your response was was warranted. That mm-hmm. was a little uncalled for. D- Dylan, I feel like I feel like our season was like the last season that people really popped off. <clears throat> I, I I talk about that with Hannah all the time. Actually, I think like maybe Peter season for the girls. Peter's yep. You that like did really well, but then after that, like I don't I don't really I think people just kind of stopped caring. Why so. do you, Why do you think that is? I mean, I don't know. When we came off, I actually gave it a timeline. I was like, I, I think the show will be done in five years. And so I'm still on track because we're, what, three years out now? Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> unless they switch it up, like hire a super young, charismatic, attractive ex-contestant as the host. Uh, I don't really see anybody else are, are you, are you trying, surviving it. Are you trying to pull yourself up there to be that? <laughs> <laughs> People forget Dylan did an April Fool's joke saying Chris Harrison retired and 12 months later something <laughs> happened. So I, like I, I'm just saying I would be hilarious, but I would never do it. You would be comedy. You, you, you should do it, Tyler. Host it. $10 million a year. It's the easiest job in the world. Oh yeah. I do it in a heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> doing a heartbeat. You heard it here first. <laughs> my back, my back yeah. hurts from all this construction and freaking lifting weights. Man. I got <laughs> drink wine in France and this and that all over the place. I do that in a heartbeat. See, everybody but me, second exclusive, Tyler Bachelor Post. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it was super fun. But uh, our season was so funny. Like, so many different guys became. I feel like super popular. And then like stopped associating themselves with the show, yeah. Which I thought was which I thought was really interesting because I don't know how many times that happens, but hmm. that was like funny to see. I mean, I think it happens because I think you know you you either have two choices to make. One, you just got to roll with it, which some people have done really well. Like Jason, I feel like he's done a great job of sticking to the franchise and like making a real business and career out of it. You know, um, Jason Turdick? Yeah. 
I feel like he doesn't do anything for it at all, does he? I feel like he I feel like he's like he does it all the time. Like he's always like him and Kaylin are always in tune watching what's going on, talking about it and whatnot. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I'm doing so I don't do podcasts at all. And then I'm doing uh I just did I'm doing this one now and Jason's on Thursday. Really? So <laughs> this is great. This is yeah. a great podcast. Yeah, I'm excited. I didn't really drop much business knowledge there, but I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll listen to yours and I'm sure I'll laugh. But, um, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, I think, uh, I think you either have to really run with the show or you got to just try and go your own route and going your own route is going to lead to like, you know, a few things like, you know, you'll find success maybe elsewhere on TV or you'll find that you just got to go back to your job and work that normal <laughs> life. Like, like Tyler. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Tyler. Which I've I've chosen. Like I yeah. to me I found more joy in like like trying to build a business than trying to than trying to find the next Instagram post to post, you know? It's 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 more sustainable, yeah. Like just going off and doing your own thing versus continuing to like because there's only so many spots to be like that. I feel like you know, I correspondent. Feel, mm-hmm. I feel one thing that I think is so great about you and Hannah's relationship, because Hannah is uber successful, right? And <laughs> She has, I mean, she's, her style, her fashion, which is the same exact thing. Uh, <laughs> but but didn't makeup, say it. everything, all that stuff. Like she, like girls follow her because they love the way she does things, right? And she's also funny. Like, I, like she is way funnier than people give her. Um, but I feel like her, with her success and your business savvy, y'all could really build something really strong. Yeah, I think it, that's like always what like when we were first like talking in the beginning i was just like always interested what she wanted to do and like what i try to get her to talk about like her business goals and like what she does as a businesswoman a lot like publicly because i think it's super interesting and not a lot of people understand like how hard she works and a lot of this stuff but yeah no it's been super cool to see like I'm of the belief, and I think a lot of people are, that, like, doing Instagram ads isn't sustainable for, like, a long period of time. So, yeah. like, how can you own that channel? Whether it's launching your own brand, like, accumulating as many emails as possible, like, literally just anything. Uh, or even, like, taking influencer deals and investing that money in real estate or, like, private companies. Like, there's just so many different ways that you can take advantage of that, like, call it, three to five year, five year on a good, t- on a good day, like timeline post show to like set you up for the rest of your life. So like, that's what we're trying to do now. She, she's launching your business and she has some like cool announcements. I'm like doing the same thing I did before the show, uh, investing in companies. Hopefully they don't all don't go to zero. Uh, <laughs> that one, yeah. that one mushroom company you told me to invest in. I don't know, man. <laughs> So Moku is well, they're well capitalized, right? So I'm very, I'm still bullish on them. Okay. Don't you worry. Okay. Don't, Don't you worry. worry. <laughs> I have two, cap, I, I have two big investments for uh, companies. And one is this Moku mushrooms thing that Dylan told me to go to. And the other one is Dylan's company visor. So. Yes. And we're, we're killing it. <clears throat> you are. I believe it. I believe it. Or Dylan just running a Ponzi scheme and I'm just one of the guys <laughs> going down for it. Tyler fell for it. Yeah. I love it. Yep. Uh, yeah, no, it's been fun. We, I mean, I started advising before the show, uh, which was like, which was super fun. And then went on, I think like eight to 10 months in on the bachelor did never told anybody what I did. Cause I was like, I don't even want to like mention this. And then afterwards just like went back to it. Mm-hmm. Um, when I feel like I'm always like semi proud of that because like when you come off and you have like a platform, like moving to LA and being an influencer is like such an easy choice, I feel like, and it's attainable for a lot of people, but it's like, I don't know. I just don't think it's cool. So I was happy that went back. Same thing with you, like how you went back and just like started building your business. I just like respect that. Well, I I think like, you know, you and I can both, we can't sit there and just wait for the next deal, wait for the next gig or wait for the next event. Like I go, I'll go nuts. And like, yeah, no, I would go insane. You know, you guys, Katie, you know, sees it every day. Like if I'm sitting still, I'm going crazy, Mm -hmm. you know? And so, and so like, and this is the most fulfilling thing I've ever done is trying to build a business. It's the hardest thing I've ever done, you know? It sucks it's the in most the fun. middle of it, but once you see something come to fruition, it's like the best feeling in the it's world. It's the most rewarding. Yeah. 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 We just did someone's house the other day and like to see their reaction, that was incredible. We all cried. You know? 
Well, it's, it's like the <clears throat> I equate it to like you have full autonomy and control. So like at the end of the day, if something is fucked up, it's your fault. And then but if it succeeds, like that feeling is like, yeah, I did this. Mm-hmm. It feels pretty, pretty mm-hmm. sick. Um, so I'm a big fan of it. Both my parents were entrepreneurs, too, though. So it's like, oh, speaking I, of your mom, how's my lady doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's good. She's, uh, where is she? I think she's in San Diego now. And then we're all going to Wisconsin. Uh, if you're not doing anything for Christmas and you want to come. Heck yeah. And I'll bring my, like I'll bring my days. pops. Yeah. Bring your dad. Let's make it happen. There we go. We've been trying to get my dad and his mom to date for so long. <laughs> my dad doesn't have enough game for okay. his mom though. Imagine, imagine that like stepbrothers type. Oh, oh my God. It'd like, be electric. It'd That'd be, be funny. funny. We'd, have, we'd have, we'd have to have a Hulu show. We'd oh, have, for sure. It, it, for yeah, sure. There'd be no other option. For sure. Well, let's get to a song real quick and then we're going to come back with questions and then the Collins. You ready for that? Let's do it. You got a song? Uh, you said Frank Ocean, right? Yeah, I was going to say that. I did, I did say Frank Ocean. What's a good Frank Ocean song? Let's do Pink and White. Frank Ocean. Never heard of it. Hey, we're Red back. Live. Oh, 3 6 <laughs> Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> You just kept asking questions like we weren't on a time limit. <laughs> I said we have 10 seconds and you just kept going. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear that. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so we just bought the new place and, and moved in and and uh, yeah, we're still doing it. We just we just added a bunch of furniture and we're changing it out. How many beds? Well. How many baths? Technically four, three, one, two, three. Technically three bedrooms. No, four bedrooms. Uh, and one, two, three, four bath. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Very okay. nice. So you're one, saying two, we can visit. Oh, a so movie you got room for theater. Me. Fun. Yeah. So you got room for yeah. me. All right. We do. We do. Have. We have room for you. So we're back here. Our last part of the day, uh, my favorite part of the day is when we do call-ins. We got some questions, too, that people wrote in. So let's get the right first. And so let's go from all there. these questions are actually just for you, Dylan. Uh, the first question is, what's the rule for tooting in front of each other with you and Hannah? I, I fucking rip them. <laughs> I, I don't go. Yeah, you, you struck me as fly. that guy. <laughs> yeah, I let them fly. There was a period of time I was actually like concerned about my digestive tract because I was like farting way more than I normally did. And then I started taking supplements and stuff. And now it's like super normal. <laughs> well, maybe that's what Tyler needs. To so do. we need, can, whatever that is, can you send it over? So send we can it my give way, it to Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your way. Please. Yeah, no, I, I, I fucking let him rip. So yeah, <laughs> it didn't always start that way, but that's yeah, where you are. When you're, when you're together for three and a half years, almost like you just kind of let them fly. <laughs> I, like Lo- I love that for you guys. Uh, what motivated you to create your app? Uh, I couldn't understand why it was so hard to like find information and, and things that you could just like, that could just make you healthy and, and change and create healthy habits. And so I started working on that with my cousin, uh, and like, we just want to create, use tech to create tools that make people healthier. So the first version of that's the app. Uh, and it's like a, it's like threefold on what we impact. We, make people work out more. We give back to the community via mail donations and like support businesses, either local or just like businesses who want to give back in general. Uh, and then we're launching a second product actually that'll be live in January. That's like a tool to incentivize people to just try new healthy brands at their local grocery stores. So pretty pumped about that. Um, but yeah, I mean the ultimate goal at the end of the day was just to like create things that made people healthier. Love that. That's awesome. Me too. That's awesome. Um, so what is your favorite quality of Hannah's? Uh, so one, very caring and loving. That's like a given, but I would say two, what Tyler said, she's actually sneaky, very funny. So <laughs> she, sneaky like, funny. we talk about, yeah, I'm like, Hannah, please. I'm like, please post that on social media. And she's like, I can't, like, I, I can't. I'm like, Hannah, it's funny. Like, I'm telling you, like, she's hilarious. So, <laughs> uh, which I didn't expect. And I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'd say, that's probably my favorite. Like, she makes me laugh, like, all the time. <laughs> okay. And what was your first impression of Tyler? 
Uh, I just thought he was some super tall hot guy, but then <laughs> he's actually really funny and nice. And it, you're he's a good human. I'll oh, give that to Tyler. Thanks, Dylan. An overall good guy. Thanks, I was Dylan. like, oh my god, this is the classic just like hot frat guy on the bachelor. <laughs> and then like he, he wasn't that he's still fratty, but he's, he's a good guy. What, what makes you fratty? I keep getting everyone, you know, they're like Tyler's fratty. What is, why Tyler, am I fratty? You're very, Tyler, you're very fratty. How? Explain to me. I watched your stories from like a week ago and you were at Clemson just like getting blacked out on the sidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, Phil, what are you giggling at? Weren't you there yeah, too? Phil, so and you Phil get blacked out too. <laughs> Phil is a little fratty as well. Hey, frat star. We're just having a fun time. That's all I call it. Yeah, right? <laughs> but you were in the Hamptons like fucking ripping it up in the Hamptons over the summer. I'm like, yeah, this is what frat guys. So getting drunk is being fratty. Wow. That's okay. It's the accumulation. I would love of to it. do that. I'm also fratty. It's okay. You guys should come to Montauk with us next time. Yeah. Montauk was a good time. It was Amazing. a good time. And I'm not fratty and I was there. So Montauk is the shit. What is it? Surplage? Mm-hmm. Mm. That place is electric. And bounce. bounce. All right. So we're gonna go into Collins right now. Y'all can call in. We got one right off the bump, off the jump right here. Let's see what it is. I can't speak bump today. Bump a jump. Bump a jump. We're losing tie. Oh. Don't forget to unplug so Dylan can hear. Oh, see. Do you, do you like see like what if they just like start cussing and saying weird <laughs> shit? Luckily, we check the this might be explicit Hello? box. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dylan. Dylan now. Hi. What's going on? Can you hear Dylan? Kind of. Can't hear Dylan. What about now? I can hear. Uh, yeah, no, I can hear Dylan now. Cool. Awesome. Hey. hey, guys. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm so excited. I've been on here before, so I'm really, really excited to be on here again. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. Thanks. Um, so I actually have a question for Dylan, just because, like, I watched both his season on Hannah's season and then again when he was in Paradise with Hannah. And I know he said that a really rough time was, like, watching all of that back, especially since you guys were a couple. Like, how did you guys kind of, like, go through the motions of, like, understanding, like, maybe the producers kind of played in a lot in your relationship while you're on the show versus what you knew was real and what was kind of, like, fake in a way? Yeah, no, I, I think um, for us it was, like, we told each other everything. So, like, nothing was really a surprise. It was just, like... Just like, you know, just frustrating, I would say. But yeah, like open lines of communication. We, we told her, and at the end of the day, like it really was like two or three days. So it got drawn out for four or five weeks. But in real time, I was like, yeah, this really wasn't that big of a deal. But they definitely tried to make it a big deal. And I was like, yeah, they made me date this guy, this guy, and this guy. And Dill's like, yeah, I just had some some wine. <laughs> I just was waiting for you to come back home. Yeah, sorry. I was just like drinking margaritas and having a quesadilla. And then got back. <laughs> Super frat. Yeah, pretty, pretty similar though, honestly. Honestly, throughout the whole time, it did really seem like you were really lax and she was really just going through it and trying to figure it out type of thing. So like, I kind of like, I was like, there's no way that all this is happening and like how chill you seem and how like, you know what I mean? Like, I felt bad because I was just like, there's no way, like, this is kind of real. But again, it's a TV show, so, like, you have to think about it that way. But I was just like, oh, wow, they're really putting each other through it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty brutal. But, like, uh, at, at the time, though, like, in the grand scheme of things, I, I try to pride myself on being rational. And I was like, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're here on a dating show. So, like, what am I going to get worked up about? Like, so, Yeah. So yeah, it was good. Good times. Wish would love to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the same outcome. And, uh, call them back in. Yeah, you got it. I got Appreciate it. You Bye. It. Bye. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Come and talk to me. <laughs> Let's go, D. <laughs> How'd you know I was gonna say that? Because we know you. Hello? Hello. How are you? Welcome to good, the show. How are you? I'm good. So I lost my voice, but I need advice. I have a wedding that my date last minute canceled on. Mm. So I took to social media 
What are green flags and red flags that I should look for? For a date? For a date. For a date or a wedding in one week. Oh, uh, one week. If they like tequila, green flag. <laughs> <laughs> so so, where, the, where's, so, so where's the wedding the date's in one week, right? The wedding's in one week. My oh. birthday's this Saturday. And I'm in the wedding. And it's in Vegas. Wow. It's like a four-day wedding. Damn, that's lit. Yeah. That it's, is. I wish I could go. <laughs> I think right there, you need to let everyone know that you're going on. Put on, put on your story. Going to, going to Vegas, four days. Okay, so I, I did that. Charity did it. Like, I got like a ton of DMs, and I like did the whole Google form. It's actually really funny. It's like, oh wow, I really much enjoy the process. But I'm trying to limit it, like, like narrow it down, and I'm trying to find like the red and the green flags because I don't want to end up. Yeah. With- Oh, well, you definitely yeah. don't want to get like murdered. So <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Let's work on weeding out the murderers. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, could you like give us an example of a response you've received? Okay, so like, like, like the Google form, it's like you know, like what's your what's your drink of choice? Um, what's the story that you're going to tell people on like how we met? Um, well, I think right there, drink of choice. Drink of yeah, choice. Drink of choice should weed out. Should weed out a lot. lot. If they're drinking yeah. vodka, tequila, anything light, they're gonna be a good time. If they're drinking anything dark, like whiskey, you might have some problems. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they so probably okay, have a few burner accounts. Uh, <laughs> tequila yeah, people, actually, tequila really drinkers are the most fun. Only alcohol, yeah, that's you an upper. You should sort it, actually. You should sort it by tequila being first. The only reason vodka sneaks in is because of espresso martinis, and you can mm. still trade out the vodka for tequila. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and that. So, yeah, if they drink tequila, green flag. Oh, how tall are you? Well, yeah, you, you, you want you want him to be a little bit of a gambler, not a huge gambler, because you want to be stuck in the casino all the time with him. Mm-hmm. You want to be able to party and have a good time. So, you know, you don't want a big gambler. So don't. So make sure that's on there. Yeah. Big gambler, Did red they, flag. Do they submit photos of their Instagram? Do they submit their Instagram? See how many they've got with like their family and their friends. But if it's just them shirtless at a pool party, probably not the best. That's mm. my Instagram. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. just going to say. I know, I know, I know, Tyler. <laughs> and that's why he's everybody. But- and, that's- <laughs> <laughs> and that's why it's everybody with me, show. Yeah. Red flag. <laughs> um, so, another, another, another important, important one is how they dress. You got to make sure they dress nice for the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy right there. If they wear, if they wear rag and bone, I would shoot him an invite. <laughs> main, main thing we learned today is make sure he drinks tequila and doesn't gamble too much, and you'll have a successful wedding in Vegas. Yep. Thank you, thank you. So, space brownies are really good. I don't really know what you're talking about, but they're great. What? <laughs> space, 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 brownies. space brownies. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've still dabbled. <laughs> yeah, I kind of took him back to space a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Good well, luck in Vegas. Let us know how it goes. And happy us, birthday. You call us afterwards and tell us how it goes. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Yes, and I happy, birthday. Happy, birthday. happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. <laughs> Love you. One, bye. Happy birthday to you. Hmm. Yeah, I went, went for another See, sip, sip, and... Mm-hmm. Sip, sip, drip. Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. You'll, mm-hmm. You're you're invited to our wedding, Tyler. So you don't have to worry about getting being a plus one. Do I get a plus one? No, you do not. But he wasn't allowed to bring okay. a plus one to our best friend's wedding either. Yeah. You, you uh, there is a hard rule. You should not bring a plus one unless you're engaged or married. I agree. Someone unless at, you're going to pay for their own way. <laughs> yeah, like there's just no. I'll pay yeah, for. Yeah, have your date. That might be five hundred dollars, and they can come. All right. Bet. <laughs> Invite you. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, but we're different. What's up, How are we doing? I went to Wake Forest, by the way. Let's go, go Deeks. High education right here. This is no William and Mary, wherever you went to school, uh, Dylan. This is high education. We're talking about ACC football. Gasper the Bowl. One of the it's college in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Wake Forest on that list? I don't know. Not high. Top, top six thousand. Top ten. <laughs> so what's up, man? What's up? I do have a question for all of you. I guess it doesn't really apply to Tyler, but um, 
I just started, or I just moved in with my girlfriend like three or four months ago. Thanks, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Tyler, you, you and Hannah lived together for a little bit there. Um, I was just looking for advice moving forward to, you know, make sure that it stays happy and healthy. Because um, I know, like, a lot of my friends that have started moving in with their significant others, it can kind of, like, almost get worse in a sense. Mm-hmm. How they handle it. Yep. Yep. You're right. I'll see myself out on this one. So you have to build in like independent time, I think is a big one because you're going to be together so much and that will become like an expectation almost. So like having built in independent time is vital. Still go out and do things with your own friends, not always with each other. That's my piece of advice. Yeah, well, and like, com- and com- just communicate a, lo- a ton more. Somehow when I was long distance with my boyfriend versus moving in together, it's almost like communication needed to kick up. Like, hey, I don't like that you do this or I like that you do that. And, you know, that way. Yeah, it's definitely yeah. a time to get to, know, to get to know one another, you know. So mm-hmm. how long have you guys been, been dating? Uh, we've been dating a year and a half now. A year and a half. And um, like our lease cycle was kind of timed up at the same time um, this past summer. So it kind of just made sense, both financially and, you know, felt like it was time. That's awesome, man. Okay. Yeah, that's a big step. Man. Yeah, yeah that's a huge yeah. step. Congrats. Good luck. I've always, you, I've always you, uh, yeah, I, I want to reiterate alone time uh, and still doing things that you like. Like I play video games, so that's my... I'm like in my, this is actually, well, you can't see, but for you guys, this is where I play in that little closet thing. Uh, That's all Hannah gave you in that four bedroom house. That's all I got. That's all I got. Well, I used to work in the garage, so it's an upgrade. So compromising uh, is something else you got to talk about. Yeah. Compromise. Do you, and if, if you work from home, like emphasis on the, having a routine for yourself, like I wake up and work out every single morning, come into the office, work from here. Then like at night we'll have dinner together and hang out. And then if I like want to unwind and play video games, like I can come in here and do that. So just like making sure you have your own space. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks for the advice, guys. Yeah. Phil, you got anything? No, just listen, be you. Don't be a fake version of yourself when you move in because it's going to come out the light and it's not going to look pretty. So if this is the woman you're planning on marrying, get comfortable with each other and just be you. I got one final words of advice. Um, make sure you get a scrub brush for the toilet and clean <laughs> out the insides of the toilet when you're done. And, and make sure like you put the seat down, down. and the mm-hmm. seat all the way up when you go pee. Those are my, my, my three words of advice for you. I'm so proud of you. And put your dishes in the dishwasher. <sighs> that's pretty good. But, but that's, but that's, that's, that's about all I got for you. <laughs> Yeah, because I've been in hotels, sharing hotel rooms, and you don't really get that luxury of having a brush, you know? Tra- traumatizing for some. Uh, oh, my in, God. Or my house. <laughs> or, or Kate's house the other day. Hershey squirt. But, hey, man, I appreciate you calling. appreciate you listening. Yeah, for sure. Thanks. All right, brother. Enjoy, man. Yes. Moving into yeah, the best Move thing. in with somebody. Like Nelly said, it was only just a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, Dill, thanks for coming out here. It's always fun. It's always easy. Thanks for joining us, guys. And uh, we will see you next week, episode 23 of the Everybody. Who's our guest next week? Erica. Erica Costell is joining the show next week, guys. Oh, Erica. Jordan yep. here for us. It'll be, it'll I don't know her. Mm. No. So it'll be good. All right. We well, all have a wonderful night. And Erica will be joining us next week. See you. Love you. Thank you, Dylan. Thanks, Dill. <laughs> oh, hell oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, baby? Say hi. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> they can't, they, sh- she can't hear you guys. I'm wearing headphones. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know better. Yeah, Tyler, try. Tyler, where's that chipper been all, all episode? <laughs> he sees ass and he's like, hey. What's <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my fiance is ass. Jesus. Oh, I know, shit. right? I'm, 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 uh, I'm getting my Xbox turned back on. I'm going uh, I'm to start playing with you, Dylan. When? Yeah, let's play. It's super fun. We should we should start we should start streaming again. That was hilarious. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. I gotta go. I gotta go take. What? What marketing? 
Oh. He, she said she liked the photo you posted. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Hannah. Yeah. We, look, we looked right in it together. Yeah, it just says <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, all right. I got to go. I'll talk all right, to you brother. later. All right, thank Dylan, you. Dylan, it was nice meeting you, brother. Have a great night. Take it easy. Yeah.